What's up guys, JNO here and welcome back to the PSV Patrol and I've got an apology for you all before I start this episode off. Unfortunately, I didn't do my maths right and I played the Ajax game thinking it didn't matter if I won and then thought it would be the AZ or William game where it would matter but I actually won the league earlier than I thought I would by beating Ajax 3-0. So unfortunately I can't bring to you the game where I win the league. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to play the Viteza game who are sitting in third at the moment who could go above Feyenoord with a win in this game. Then we will play the Dutch Cup final which we will be coming up against Herenven or Herenveen. I think Herenveen is probably the correct pronunciation in the Dutch Cup final to see if we can do the domestic clean sweep the triple crown of the Dutch Cup, the Eredivisie title and the Super Cup. Hopefully next season I won't miss out such a vital game as the Ajax PSV derby where we won the title at home with PSV as the visitors. But let's get into the Viteza game and then go on to the Dutch Cup final to see out the first season of the PSV patrol and then make sure guys to leave in the comments down below who I should sign. Smash that thumbs up button if you're looking forward to the second season and subscribe if you're new and let's get into the game. The okay, case so of the team we're going with is actually a weakened team because let's be fair we're not actually playing to win the title anymore. We have Passivir in goal with Willems on the left, Brennett on the right, Bruma and Islamat Marin or Mirin as the centre backs. Hendricks in the centre defensive midfield position, Carol and Maha in centre mid, with Bojevic and Traore as the wingers with Lucardia up top. Hopefully we can just carry on winning and carry on our winning ways and dominate this league and go into the Dutch Cup final off of a win. Okay, so we kick the game off and Viteze have a lot to play for. They could get second. I'm not sure if that gets you Champions League football actually in uh, Holland or if it's just Europa League after first place. But coming second is always better than coming third. So they have a lot to play for. We have played a weakened side, so we might drop points here. But Hendricks finds Traore, who switches the play to Willems. Willems looks at Hendricks. Hendricks looks at Traore, but it's intercepted, and it looks like it'll be cleared. But Brennett picks it up. Brennett looks to Maha, who's getting the game. Traore... Can he cut inside? He looks for Bojevic, who puts it in the back of the net. Under five minutes, and we are winning with a weakened side against the third-place team in the Eredivisie. We are looking good for next season as well. If we strengthen this side, they could dominate again, but hopefully we won't fall into that trap that Chelsea fell into in real life, where we kind of take our foot off the gas. I want to keep improving this team and start winning some trophies in Europe as well as Holland. Bojevic could be getting a lot more game time next season, the way he's been performing this season. And it looks like we're going into the Dutch Cup final with a victory under our belts. Great season we've had domestically. Just a shame we couldn't do anything in Europe. Oh yeah, and how do you like seeing my face? I forgot to mention the fact that I'm doing face cam for the first time on this series. Um, it won't be a regular thing, but I think I will do it for big games. Um, the PS3 Patrol has been quite successful, actually. So I'm definitely looking forward to carrying on this series. There'll be a few more face cam episodes in the second season than there have been in this season, because this season only had the one. Probably going to be more face cam next season. The reason there wasn't initially is because it, this was a series to fill the gap between other series at first, but I have actually fallen in love with this series now. So yeah, there'll be more face cam, but there will also be episodes without face cam when I don't have the time to do the editing. So we've gone in at half time, one nil up, which is absolutely fantastic, of course. Let's just keep our winning ways going. I know we've won the title, but that doesn't mean we should rest on our laurels. Could have brought some youngsters up, I suppose, but there's plenty of people in the first team I feel deserve more game time. Brennett now looks for Maha, who finds Traore. The passing is quick and slick. Maha gets it, finds a great ball out to Brennett. Brennett looks to ping it inside to Hendricks, who back to Brennett. Traore hits the post, but great showing by Traore, who to be fair, I've loaned out and then not really given any game time. Mourinho has bitched and moaned about it, but 
I doubt I'm going to get Traore after the loan spell he's had, which is a shame, but I just couldn't put him above my regular players, knowing that I might not be able to keep him, he might stay at Chelsea, and Bojevic came up, to be fair, so uh, he had more competition than I thought he would have. Okay, Lacardi is not playing very well, don't want to risk De Jong, so we'll bring on Lestien, and then we'll probably change Lestien to a false nine, because I'm not sure he's suited to being a complete striker. Yeah, he's much better at being a false nine. So we'll confirm that change. Carol can come off. You know what we'll give, is that Vloet? Vloet, is that how you say it? We'll give him a game, see what he can do. I think I've just called him up to the first team. Let's see if he can impress and uh, start securing himself a place in our first team for next season. Traore's got the ball, finds Maha, who hits the post. Again, we've hit the post. But great play by the team. We're looking good going into the Dutch Cup final. Bojevic now has it, he was offside though. We've made our changes, we're still 1-0 up, it's a shame we haven't managed to bag a second and this could be an equaliser, Lewis Baker I believe that is with the cross. Back out to Baker, into Brown, is that a sire Brown from Chelsea? I think it is and Viteze are definitely putting the pressure on now, they've got a lot to play for so they're pushing for that equaliser but that does mean we could get a counter. We've managed to get another block, so it's another corner to Viteze. Baker will whip it in again. It's headed clear, but there's a Viteze man there waiting. And Hendricks has picked it up straight to Brennett. And we've managed to see out that period of pressure without conceding. Now Hendricks has it just outside the box. Finds Traore. Traore into Vloet. And Vloet can't beat. Is that Rune? That's a great name for a keeper. Maha will cross it in now. And there's a foul by Vojevic. So that is the end of that. Great commentary. That is the end of that. Alright, so it looks like we're going to see out this game with a 1-0 victory. Willems will put a cross in. Traore gets there. 2-0. So the last sentence I said is completely void now. Willems finds Traore at the back post. Traore has a final impact on our team before he'll probably go back to Chelsea and never be seen in Holland again. It's a bit harsh, he might come back to Holland. I'm sure his experience wasn't that bad. But great header by Traore there. Maybe I should have given him more game time, but Guardado, Narsing, Bojevic, they've all done so well. And I've got Maha who's struggling to get game time as well. So to be fair, I think Bojevic deserved it more, being an actual PSV player. And Troy was just the uh, unlucky recipient of circumstance. Okay, it looks like the final whistle is about to go. So we have picked up a 2-0 victory against third place Viteze. And we have continued to show our dominance on the Arena Vese League. And even tightened our grip on that title. Not that it can get any tighter. Tight like a toiger. Okay, player of the match was actually Traore with a 9 rating, so maybe he felt like he had a point to prove to me, seeing as I've finally given him a game. And just look at that, 85 points. We are 22 points clear of Feyenoord. Anyway guys, let's move on to the next game, the Dutch Cup Final against Herenveen. I'm so saying that wrong, I'm sure I am. Okay guys, we are back and we are looking at the next fixture, which is the Dutch Cup Final. We are against Herenveen, or Herenveen. Herenveen, oh, these Dutch team names. But we are four to five favourites. Herenveen are three to one. Our star player is Luke de Jong. We're putting out a strong side. Unfortunately, Guardado is injured, so Bojevic is coming in. He is actually one goal off the top scorers in this tournament. So two goals, and he could be the golden boot boy for this tournament. Golden boot boy? Erwin Mulder is Herenveen's best player so we have to watch out for him. Hopefully we can do the domestic triple and get the Dutch Cup added to our trophy cabinet to have a great first domestic season as PSV manager. So the team we're going with is Pasveer in goal, Bruma and Moreno as the two centre backs, Willems and Arias as the two wing backs. I believe so it is injured. Yeah, so it is injured, which is why I haven't played him. Hendricks as the centre defensive midfield. Carroll and Proper reuniting their partnership as the two centre mids. Bojevic on the left, Narsing on the right with Luke de Jong up top. Okay, so the game begins and hopefully this goes swimmingly. 
and uh, is not as nervous as my game against Wales in Evolving England. Because if it is, I will need a stiff drink and I'm trying to uh, cut down on my drinking. Okay, it's been a quiet first 10 minutes. Nothing major has happened for either side. And Arias has a throw in now to Narsing. Is Narsing going to run down the wing? No, he's going to cut it back to Arias, who puts it into Hendricks, who has time on the ball, plenty of time. Carroll now looks for Arias, who puts it into Narsing, who shoots and it's saved easily at the near post by the Heronveen keeper. I'm not sure a shot there was the best option. And my match stats have disappeared again, haven't they? Yippee. Right, so let's have a look at match stats now it's half time. We have had less shots than Heronveen, to be fair. Just as many on target though, no clear cut chances. We've not been bossing the possession either. That is worrying to be fair. That was not what I was expecting. I'm not liking the fact that we are behind on the stats against Heron Veen. That's not really usual for my side. Can we split the screen? I know it's not the usual view for this episode or this series, but I kind of want to see the match stats. Can I make this smaller? I know it's split, but can't I make this a bit bigger? Arias with a shot and Mulder gets the save. I just don't feel like that's as interesting to look at. Let's make some substitutions, hopefully change this game around because it's been pretty dead, to be fair. Luke de Jong hasn't done much at all, so Lacardia is going to come on. And we're going to hopefully inject some pace into the front three with Traore. I know I've not really given you the chance, Traore, but if you can win the Dutch Cup for me, then you will go down as a club legend, even if you haven't played that many games for us. Be one of those uh, trivia quiz questions. What player helped PSV win the 2016-17 Dutch Cup final? People will say Lacardia, Narsing, Proper, all these players that played loads of games. And the answer will be Traore, hopefully, although nothing has happened yet. Okay, we are in the 80th minute. It's still 0-0. We've come back into the game a lot as far as stats go. So we are now dominating the game. I had a quick look. Didn't want to look for too long though. Pele van Arnholt, what a name that is. And it looks like we're going to extra time. Fantastic. Arias is demotivated, but don't have another sub, do I? Okay, Arias, get off your fucking high horse. Do your job. Don't be depressed just because I said your performance was disappointing. I mean, I know you're on a 7.8, but so's Narsing and he didn't take it badly. I expect a lot of you guys, I expect you to beat Heronveen in a final. That is for damn sure. And literally nothing is happening in this game at all. Okay, this doesn't look good. Carder on the left. He's cut inside way too easily. His shot fortunately goes straight to my keeper though. And it's going to penalties, which is fantastic. And look at that. None of them look that great at penalties to be fair. Okay, so start penalty shootout. I didn't do this in the last one. Great save already by uh, Passivir. While I was trying to uh, change the highlights to what's raw, that looks like a decent one, so we'll go with that. And unfortunately, we didn't get the Passivir save, so hopefully, Lucardia scores this and puts us 1 0 up. Great penalty into the left hand side. Their keeper couldn't get there, dive the right way, but we are 1-0 up now. Hopefully a second save by Passivir here. So close to getting there, but it's now one all, but we have one extra penalty on Heron Veen. Carroll steps up, he's been great for this He's been great for us this season, and he's still great for us as he puts that penalty away. I really can't talk when the pressure's on. Vandenberg puts it straight down the middle, so it's 2-2 again. But we can take the lead back with a Hendrix penalty. Not the greatest of penalties, but it went in, which is what matters. The pressure is now on their player here to score, I believe. St. Justy, great penalty. Great penalty into the top left. Passivir had no chance. Willems now, can he put it away? Looks like it was down the middle and high. And we are now 4-3 up. This has to go in for Heron Veen to stay in the game. It does. So it is down to Bruma to win the game for us. Well, I'm assuming that went in. But seeing as it says 5-4. But what a disappointing way to end that. The Dutch Cup final it ends with us not even seeing the ball hit the back of the net. 
because Football Manager just skipped to the team talk, which is great. Cheers, Football Manager. Ruin the end of this uh, season. Congratulate the boys. Man of the match goes to Narsing with a 9 rating, 9 key passes. Stats-wise, we did dominate in the second half. 16 shots to 7, 9 shots from target to 4. We have done the domestic triple. Now, boys, it is time for us to plan for Season 2. So like I've said before and I'll say it again, please leave in the comments down below who you think I should get in the summer transfer window before the start of Season 2. Make sure to leave all your comments about this whole season, anything you suggest I should do with the players I already have, any PSV youngsters you think I should bring up, put it all in the comments down below. I will read everything, I will plan this summer and we will start off strong with the Super Cup again and I will do face cam again. So make sure to smash that thumbs up button, make sure you, that I know you're enjoying this series, subscribe if you're new. I've been JNO, you've been awesome, and remember, it's all about the game.